What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over this problem called Hangover. This is actually not a difficult problem. I'm not actually going to read the story to you because I think it's kind of useless. But basically, um, you're just adding the number one half plus one third plus one fourth up to one over n plus one. So this is like you're the function one half, one third and up to n plus one. So now what they're saying is that given this C, number c you want to find the number n such that uh the summation from one half to uh, one third to one over n plus one is going to be just greater than c so that's basically that boils down to the problem so so n is like a n is a number that you're summing from one half one third one fourth up to one over n plus one and uh, they give you a number c and you just have to make sure that uh, you find the number that's just greater than find us the n that is the whose sum that's just greater than this whose sum of the series is just greater than the c value so i'm there's not much to it actually so you could just brute force this so i'm just going to explain the code to you guys because there's not much to it so um the difference between spaj and the and code forces is that spaj uh, code forces give you gives you the number of test cases. Spaj, what they do is that you have to, if you input zero, then the program should stop. So because of that, I just use a do do while loop. So do while um, c is just a, the input c value, which is a, each of the input values here of one uh, one dot zero zero three but dot seven one, right? And I just check if it's not equal to zero. Right, and then uh, if it's equal to zero, then the program would stop. So that's what this would do while is. Okay, so to brute force it, basically we're just gonna keep looping. We're gonna keep looping, and we're gonna keep calculating the value. And once it's greater than our C, then we stop. So that's basically the gist of this problem. So yeah, I create a value called zero, uh, float value, and I set to zero. And I create a value of N, and I set it to zero, right? And then what I'm doing is that a while, while this, Current, our current value is less than C, right? The input value. We are going to add one to our value n, our value n, and then we are just going to plus equals to um, one over one plus uh, n plus one, where right? we're going to add one over n plus one to our value. So that's this part. So that's this part, right? Because we're we're just summing up one half plus one third plus one fourth up to one over n plus one. And um, what we're doing is we're just going to slowly increment n until we get to a point where the sum of one half, one third, one fourth up to n plus one of one over n plus one is going to be greater than c, greater than or equal to c. So that's what this while loop is. So yeah, um, so every time we're going through our values, we're just going to keep adding plus equal to one over one plus uh, one over n plus one. We're going to keep adding that and then we're going to add one to n. Right, because we're gonna we're just keep trying the value until it reaches it. Then at the end of the loop, we just display n because that that'll be the number of cards. That'll be the n. It will be the card number that is uh that is displayed. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this problem. Once it gets to the end, we just display it. Display n and make sure you guys put a space and then add add cards because that's what the input statement requires it for. But yeah, that's basically the gist of the problem. Basically, um, if you, and I could explain the test cases if you guys want me to, because I could just show it to you guys what I mean by that. So like, um, I could explain what it what the test cases mean. So like, let's say we add our c is equal to one, right? Our c equals to the one dot zero zero. So basically, in our in the equation, one half plus one third up to one over n plus one. We want to find the value n such that this sum, the summation is going to be just greater than C. So basically what we're doing in our code is just, we're just gonna keep adding one by n. So we start n at zero, right? And then it would add up one, one, uh, one plus uh, n plus one, zero plus one would be one half. It would add one half, right? And then after this, it'll add one third, add one fourth. And then sooner or later, uh, after this sum, sooner or later, this sum is going to be greater than C, 
And then when that happens, we just break, right? We end. And when that happens, this while loop would be finished. And then we would just have our value of n, in which the case this, this summation occurred. And then we just display that, okay? And I check if c is not equal to zero because if c is equal to zero, the program stops, right? So then, then you don't, you're not supposed to print anything. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty much the gist of the problem. I hope you guys under, understand this video is pretty short. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.